the stand, this package right here, we're going to use this to manage our global state. Now when we let's open up our app here, so here we use this use state. This is managing just a local state. It is only exists within this app. Now to manage a local, uh, a global state, sorry, there's lots of different solutions. I'm sure people have heard of Redux and you know things like this. The problem with that is that they, these these things are really complicated. There's lots of moving parts, and we could use something like that. But we're going to use something that is way 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 better in my opinion. Great little package. Only found it a little while ago, but it's already basically the only thing that I use now. I basically create a global store. You can see you create a store here instead of use state. You create a, sort of like a, um, a hook here and then when we want to access an element like bears then we can access it just like this and we can use this this can this we can we can access any of our values from any other component we don't have to wrap our app in a context API type of situation it does away with all that we don't need to use any of that trust me it's going to be super super easy so to install it and we're just going to grab this right here and yarn if you're using yarn whatever we're going to go to a inside our app folder make sure it's within the app not the api not the root inside the app so that we're inside the actual you know you can see this package.json node modules make sure you can see that paste install that sweet now we're going to use this state to manage our user object, our user packet that we have just collected here. And we're also going to set the global state to indicate this authenticated here. So we're going to take this away from this local app and we're going to put it into our global state. And that's going to, so we can set that from anywhere. So we can log in, log out, whatever, and it's going to be reflected here. So when we log out from another part of the app, it's going to update this for us clean it. and we'll see exactly what I mean with that. So we're going to close our API and close and make it a bit nicer. Inside our core, we're going to create a new file, call it global.js. You can call it store or global store or whatever else. I'm just going to call it global so it's very clear exactly what it is. And to create a store, very simple, I'm just going to copy this. Or you can type it out yourself, whatever. And instead of use bear store, I'm going to say use global. And it's not going to going to get rid of all that. And we're just going to start off with. So we're going to put all of our state inside this one hook. So it's going to grow quite large by the end of this video. And again, I could have we could have split it up into multiple, but just for the sake of this, we're just going to keep it all in one place because I said so. Now. This section, we're going to keep track of our sections. This is going to be an our authentication section. And we're going to have two values default to false and a user dictionary. We're also going to create two functions. Just like that. So we're going to access this function when we want to log in, and we're going to access this function when we want to log out. And it's going to update this value, these are values for us. So we're going to go over to back to our app, and we'll just clean this up, get rid of these. Close those. Go to our app, and we're going to imp. Uh, sorry, first we're going to need to export. That. And over here we can go import use global. Too easy. 
and to access our authenticated, we're going to swap this. Const authenticated. Authenticated is equal to use global. That's it. It's as simple as that. And we're going to remove that for now. So when we go back over here, it's going to reload because we made a change and we'll reload our app regardless. And we can go to our global. I'm going to set, I'm going to initially set it to true in the same way that we toggled the authenticated on and off when it was in our app, the one we just deleted. And you can see it. It, it updates it. We're, we're essentially logged in at this point. Now, when we log in in our sign in page, and we go here, we get our response data, we get our user. We're going to pull in our const login function, our function that is contained within our global store. And it's in that global store so that it can affect the state within that global store. And this is a uh, you know this is the way that Zestand actually works. If you want to have a little bit more of a an in depth of how this works and how it does what it does, come over here, uh, come to this you know come to their their GitHub README and you know go through it in detail. Or if you just want to lay back and just enjoy, then you can follow along with me. Use global import that. And another good thing about this, uh, while we're at it, is that if you act, if you only access authenticated here, then when authenticated changes, it will re-render this component. But if you don't access the user or any other uh, properties here, see, we could have like a hundred properties. If we just want to, if we just want to be notified or we want to re-render a component when only one of them changes, then we'll only grab that one element. See, we could grab like multiple elements and it's going to re-render every single time any one of them changes. And so this allows us to just take it a tiny little slice and it will only re-render that one um, component. We'll take our login, we'll go login, and our user is our response.data. That's our user. And we're also going to do the same thing in our sign up because when we sign up and we get our user, we want the exactly the same thing to happen. So we're going to grab our log in. I'll use global. Make sure that's in, it's imported. And then our login response data. Same thing down here, login, response data. And now what's going to happen is when we, will refresh, when we log in now, when we log in or we create a user, when we register a user, it's going to pop us into the login like automatically. This is how we're going to make that transition from logging in, getting our user packet, and then logging into the main dashboard. So quickly. Sign in, boom, how easy was that? See, now we're logged in. We've got a valid user, we've got a valid user packet, and now we're logged in. Now we've got our user packet, and then that's gonna contain our thumbnail, which we're gonna update, but we don't actually have any thumbnails yet. We'll get to that. Uh, the first thing, once, once now that we're in, now that we're logged in, the first thing we should do is we make our profile page because in on this page, this is how we're gonna. This is going to allow us to actually log out as well. See, we can't log out at the moment, but if we refresh, it's going to pop us out and you know, take us back to the beginning. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our profile page. We're going to get that up and running, and then we're going to be able to log in, log out, pop in, pop out, and then after that, we're going to save our credentials, and then when we refresh. If it's got, if we have credentials saved, it's going to just log us in straight away. We're not going to have to come to this page. So we're going to we're going to deal with that flow now. So the next thing we're going to do is make our profile page.